Welcome to a brand new build series. I recently built this printer, but I wanted to improve some aspects of it. And I wanted to start not from scratch, but with something new. This is what the plan looks like. It will be a slightly smaller frame. I will remove the top extrusions and I will go closer to the roots of the original Trident and keep as much as possible from that design. That should make it easier for other builders to do something similar. Looking at my previous build, there are some things I would like to keep and some things I would like to replace. I'm not using 12mm rods on the next build, I will use MGN rails like in the original Trident. That means that I can remove these mounts for the rods. I really like the bottom cover on the last build and I want to keep that just in a different color. And the electronics, the lower part of the electronics, that was great on the first printer. Also the idea with the caddy, I'm going with that on the second build as well. The top electronics box, it was a bit too big. I want to scale it down and it doesn't really need the caddy. But using a sub-assembly, that did work out quite nicely. In this build, I'm going to simplify this solution and make it more compact as well. But I will stick to the D-sub to D-sub connectors. The tool head on this build will be a dragon burner. Nothing wrong with the stealth burner, I just want to test out the dragon burner. Making the frame shorter means that I have to reinforce some parts of it, so I will add the front extrusion like this. It's not ideal, but I think it will work just fine. Also, the rear of the printer needs to be reinforced. When I remove these upper extrusions, the only thing remaining would be these plastic parts for the A and B drives and a short aluminum extrusion. I'll add one extrusion on each side to make this a rigid piece. The budget for this build is almost non-existent, so I have to use some second-hand parts from my old printers. And this is what the printer looked like before I started taking off all the parts. My original plan was to update this printer and let it run Clipper and the Sherpa but uh, it's still a bed slinger and I wanted a Core XY for this one as well. The amount of parts coming off this printer is almost scary and you can tell it's not built for mass production. Too many fasteners, too many components in total. Some of these I'm not going to use like the heated bed or the hot end and the fan. That will have to go into my part bin and that's getting a bit too big now. At this point it's almost like hoarding. But you never know, one day I may use them again. If you paid close attention to the previous clip, you may have noticed three extra rails. These came off a different printer. I'll need those for the Z-axis and this pretty strange heated bed 24 volts, 400 watts. I'm going for 3D printed gears this time. These are printed in ASA and these are the Z-steppers from a very old printer. And these steppers are intended for A and B. They might be too weak, I don't know. If you have a suggestion, just mention it in the comments. This is the extruder. This is a pre-built Sherpa I had for the old printer. I'm going to use Eddy. I'm going to skip the Z end stop. For controllers, I have the SKR Pico and the SKR 1.4 Turbo. And I have these power supplies. This is somewhat dubious. I have to use these in series and lift the ground on the DC side. The filament to be used in this build is the Isonmate ASA, same as in the last one, and this PM filament copper. It's ABST and I hope it looks nice. It's on its way from Denmark. I think the most difficult part of this build will be to design the MGN 12H mounts for the belts and for the bed. I will probably have to do a lot of different variations before I get that right. But it will be interesting. I have to admit I'm a bit skeptical about my old 12 volt server power supplies. Maybe I just should buy a new one. And maybe I just should buy a couple of new A and B drive stepper motors as well. Maybe some nice LDOs, but that would break my non-existent budget. Bye for now, hope to see you for part one of the build series.